Hello everybody and welcome to Tip Tuesday from Sweet Beads in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. I'm Shay from Sweet Beads and today we're going to talk about Brick Stitch versus Peyote Stitch. Um, and if you watched last week's video on how to read a peyote pattern, we showed you how to get started in peyote. Um, and peyote stitch looks like this. You can see the offset rows. The rows aren't straight and even. They are like a brick wall. They kind of go in and out. Um, and remember when we were working peyote stitch, we would put a new bead in each one of these sticky outy beads. And so we were working back and forth this way. Okay. Brick stitch also has opposite rows, hence the word brick. Okay. Can you see that? I'm having trouble with my camera today. Um, also the same offset rows. If we butted these guys up next to each other, you can see they don't look all that different, but they're worked very differently. And I guess your first question is, Shay, why would I do one versus the other if they look exactly the same? Um, well, last week we showed the California Poppies bracelet done in peyote stitch, and you can see it's very beautiful and even. It has this lovely fabric feel. Um, the edges are along the straight side, so these are the edges here and here, not where the offset rows are. You can see the offset rows are here on the ends. Um, and it's a lovely flat piece, works great. Um, and that's peyote stitch. In brick, if we had to do a lot of increasing and decreasing, you see how these, these edges go increased and decreased a lot? That's much easier to do in brick. It's not that it can't be done in peyote, it's just much easier to do in brick stitch. Um, so if you want that same look of peyote, but you want a lot of increases and decreases, you would probably move to brick. And so to illustrate the difference, so this was last week and we were doing peyote and remember we picked up rows one and two. Oop, come on camera. Hello. Focus for me. Focus. Okay, it's not gonna focus. Come on. Okay, we would go, there we go. We would be working rows one and two and then row three and then row four and so on. Okay, and that's how we worked the peyote pattern. Brick stitch, I'm gonna come in underneath here, is worked differently. Instead of working like this, do, 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 we're actually adding the rows and then add a row and then add a row. Um, you can see the offset is created actually when we work the row on top instead of it just being created by the sticky outy beads. Okay, so we don't use sticky outy beads. Um, we're actually building the rows straight. Okay, and I'm going to show you how that's done. So the way you get started most of the time with brick stitch is to do a ladder stitch. And a ladder stitch stitch is a great foundation stitch. I have another way of starting this and I'll do another video on it one of these days. But to start your ladder, you're gonna pick up two beads, bring them down to the end of your thread, and go through them again. See how it made it like a loop around? Okay, and then you're just gonna pull those two guys together. Sorry, I'm getting notifications on something. Um, apologize for that sound. I won't do that in next week's video. Okay, pull them together so they look like good little soldiers standing next to each other. Um, that's the first rung of our ladder stitch. And everyone after that, we're just going to pick up one bead. My thread is going down, so my needle wants to go down. I call this needle chases thread. Okay, so loop. And you can see that's going to loop that bead on. Whee, boom. And then we go up the new bead. Okay, so that's ladder stitch. I'm gonna do one more. It's not in this pattern, but I'm gonna do one more just to show you. We're gonna pick up a bead. My needle is now going up. Whoops, and I popped my bead off. My thread, sorry, my thread is now going up. Gosh, I'm having trouble with this focus today. I'm so sorry. Come back, little camera. Come on, okay. We'll get really close. 
So my need thread is going up, my needle wants to go up. And then I go down the new bead. Okay, that's all there is to it. That's ladder stitch. I'm gonna do one more. Okay, thread's going down, needle goes down, boom, loops on, and up the new bead. Okay, so that's how you would do the first row of brick stitch. My tail cut there. Okay, so I flipped my work. I like to always be working left to right. So that's why I flipped my work. If you don't want to flip your work, that's okay. Now to do brick stitch, the first part of brick stitch, so the first beads you add, you're going to pick up two beads. Always two beads on the first row of brick. Don't ask me why. I just learned it the same way you're learning it, but it's always two beads. And we're going to go under the bridge of thread. Now that's what's different about brick. Sorry. Instead of using the bead, you know, where we, where we go through the bead, we're actually going to go under the bridge of thread between these two beads. And it's kind of hard to see on camera, but I can pull it up. See that bridge of thread? That's what we're going to use. Let me pull that back tight again. Okay. So pick up your two beads, pass under the bridge of thread. I like to do it so that I'm coming towards me. Um, but you can do it the other way if you prefer. And then up, and of course I got a weird wonky bead, but go up the second bead, okay? So we put on two beads. I'm just gonna tighten this up a little bit. Um, brought our two beads, went under the bridge of thread, and up the second bead. Okay, not the first bead, but the second bead. After that, you're just gonna pick up one bead at a time, one bead under the bridge of thread and up the bead. And that's all there is to brick stitch, um, at least flat brick, which is what we're doing today. You can also do um, circular brick stitch. There's, there's several variations on brick, just like there are variations on peyote. Okay, under the bridge of thread, like so, bring that through and then up the new bead. Whee! Boop! Last one, under the bridge of thread. And up the new bead. That's brick stitch. That's it. That's all there is to it, okay? So it looks like peyote, but it's done very differently. And um, we'll talk about increases and decreases on a future video, um, but that's the basics of brick stitch. So you have brick, you have peyote, you now have two different ways of doing this offset um, pattern. So m try out the brick stitch, let us know what you think. Like I said in a future video, I'll teach you my alternate method instead of using the ladder stitch, and I'll also teach you brick increases and decreases. But until then, um, if you have a question or a comment or topic you'd like to hear about, please let us know on our um, website, sweetbeadslv.com, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Pinterest, all using Sweet Beads LV. Um, and until then, have a great week and happy beading. And don't forget to purchase all of your beads, thread, needles, supplies, Check us out at sweetbeadslv.etsy.com.